Hello everybody, my name is Waddles, I hope you're doing well today. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use campfires to alert you when your auto smelter is done. Meaning, uh, whenever this furnace is done smelting whatever I put in it, so raw chickens, it will turn off and so will this campfire. When the campfire turns off, the smoke will go away and that means you know it's time to come back over to your furnace. Now this smoke beacon system is crazy useful for survival because it completely eliminates that need to run back and forth and check your smelter. You know that as soon as the smoke is gone, your smelter is off and all of your things that you were smelting are completely done. So now the smoke's gone, I know my smelter is completely ready. This design will be working in the 1.14 update, and it should work on Bedrock as well. If you enjoy the video, make sure you leave a like, and please do consider subscribing. The things you need to build the setup are pretty easy to obtain. Of course, you're going to need an auto smelter, so that means three hoppers, three chests, and a furnace. And then, in terms of this whole alerting system, you'll need two observers, two dispensers, and so on. All of these materials are laid out in exact amounts. You will need some building blocks as well, which are not in exact amounts. So, go ahead and collect up these materials, and then we can move on to the next step. We'll start off by building our basic auto smelter. So start by placing a chest and having a hopper go into that chest. On top of that hopper, place a furnace and then off to one of the sides of that furnace, place a hopper going into it again with a chest on top. One more hopper on top of the furnace and a chest on top of that one and you're good. That's your basic auto smelter. This is an old design. This has been in the game for a long time and if you haven't built one before, I really do recommend you start building these. This is where the new stuff comes in. Start with an observer facing that furnace right on the back, and then behind that observer, you're going to want to place a repeater on some kind of building block. The block doesn't really matter. I go ahead and add all of this delay to that repeater, but it's kind of your call. I do recommend adding the delay, though. After that, go ahead and place an observer looking at that repeater, and then behind that observer, place a dispenser facing really whatever direction you'd like. That dispenser should be facing at a campfire though. I do recommend placing a hay bale underneath that campfire so you can see the smoke from a long, long ways away. And then finally, we need one more dispenser and that's totally up to you. You can put it on the left of the campfire, you can put it on the right of the campfire, so long as the dispenser is touching and facing the campfire. Now to finish this thing off, you will need two more building blocks to go on the other sides of the campfire. Don't put anything above the campfire or the smoke won't go into the air and of course this whole thing won't work. Now in the dispenser that is connected to the observer, you want a water bucket inside of it. In that other dispenser, the lonely dispenser, you want a flint and steel. On that lonely dispenser, so my flint and steel one, you will want a button. It could be a wood button, it could be a stone button. Uh, just a button. Now, to get this thing working, you want to place your smelting thing, so my food, in the top, and then in the side, you'll want your fuel. The bottom will be your output chest. Now, as you just saw and heard, the fire is gone. That is normal. Every time this furnace updates, meaning turns on or off, the water will be dispensed and then picked right back up. When you're ready to use this thing, throw all of your items inside of this furnace, Wait for the water to dispense and retract, and then press the button on the dispenser with the flint and steel inside of it. Now you're good to run away and do whatever you need to do. When this furnace is completely done smelting all of your items, the fire will be turned off and the smoke will go away. And then, of course, you know it's time to come back and collect up all of your items that you were smelting up. And believe it or not, that's actually it. This is a very, very simple addition to an auto smelter thing. I would recommend putting this on an auto smelter room. Usually when I build these auto smelter rooms, though, I will build a lot of these things, meaning like tons and tons of tiles of this small, like, three hopper system and if you do that like me i would definitely recommend putting this fire system on one of your setups you don't need this on every single auto smelter in your room if you are pretty good about putting items in all of your smelters at the same time you only really need one campfire in that room but if you do want a campfire for each and every furnace you could totally do that. You can, of course, change the, your orientation with the campfire and put it directly behind 
this furnace or whatever you really want to do. It's totally your call. There's lots of room for customization with this one. But with all of that being said, I am pretty much done here for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like and please do consider subscribing. Uh, if you want to see what I'm up to, follow me on Twitter. If you want to talk about things or ask me any questions about this design, slide into the Discord server. And if you want to support me directly, I do have a Patreon where you can do so for some pretty cool benefits. All of that fancy stuff is linked down in the description below. My name is Waddles. Go have a good day. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs> this is crazy looking. Uh, it's crazy. <laughs>